more data, uh, we'll make a small stop and uh, I will explain you about the uh, Cape Crep discovery and the settlement of the Portuguese sphere and a little bit of author slavery and uh, uh, the independence. Okay. Okay. And uh, in Mordea, you can put your foot in the water if you, if you want. Uh, my grandma used to say that putting your foot in the water in the morning is a good way to start your journey. Okay. Because it will attract only good vibes. I don't know if that's true or not. The fact is that she was afraid of the sea. So I was the one that goes there and bring the water for her. <laughs> yeah. And uh, from Modera we go uh, to Palmera. At Palmera we'll make a small stop uh, at this pescator community. Uh, you will uh, meet uh, some fishers man and uh, if we are lucky we'll find some fish. And I'll, I'll, I will explain you about the fishing in Cape Verde and uh, also the fishes that we eat uh, the most here. And then uh, we will go to Buracana. Buracana is where we will see the blue eye. <laughs> yeah, one of the uh, seven wonders of Sal Island. Uh, the blue eye is, uh, is when the uh, sunlight comes insa inside a cave that has a, uh, an eye uh, shape. Yeah, yeah. So it reflects a beautiful uh, blue eye. Hi guys and welcome to our channel. We are Anna and Edward, or two curly heads wandering. On our second day in Cape Verde, we had the day tour with Alex and his team, where we have discovered few great places and we have learned a bit about the history of the country. Which one? The yellow one. This one? No, I don't know. It's a fruit? It's something you use every day. I use every day? Yeah. Uh, shampoo. <laughs> ah, you're very close. <laughs> no, he, he whispered me. <laughs> okay. Can you tell which plant is that? Plant. I told you. This is, uh, it's not shampoo. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> this is. Like I use every day. Yeah. Okay, this is uh, cotton. This is cotton? Yeah, this is cotton tree. Really? It looks like that. Uh, the cotton will come out of this. Uh, oh yes, like this when it gets dry. Yeah. Oh. Cape Verde did not have a significant history of cotton slavery comparable to other regions in the Americas. The islands were primarily used as a stopover point during the transatlantic slave trade where ships will replenish supplies and water. Portuguese who colonized Cape Verde in the 15th century engaged in the slave trade and used the island as a base for their maritime activities. However, the local economy was not predominantly based on large-scale cotton plantation or the associated system of slavery as seen in some other parts of the Americas. Cape Verde, officially known as the Republic of Cabo Verde, gained its independence from Portuguese colonial rule on the July 5, 1975. Located off the northern coast of Africa, have been a Portuguese overseas territory since the 15th century. The struggle for independence in Cape Verde was marked by peaceful resistance, diplomatic efforts and negotiations. A very authentic marketplace, isn't it? The national hero Amilcar Cabral, a key figure in the fight for independence, co-founded the African Party for the Independence of Guinea and Cape Verde in 1956. The movement's efforts were not limited to armed struggle, they also focused on education, health and socio-economic development. Amilcar Cabral was a prominent and influential figure in the struggle for independence in Guinea-Bissau and Cape Verde, which were both Portuguese colonies in West Africa. You might have gained now a better understanding of the variety of skin tones and facial features now, and of course about their culture and identity. Sal is considered the windiest of the 10 islands, but I think it's perfect for some water sport enthusiasts.
We have continued our journey towards our second stop, having this desertic background. Even if it's an African country, Cape Verde doesn't have wildlife animals, or at least here on Sile Island. After a short while, we have arrived in Palmeira, the fishing village. As you will notice, this is a Christian church, because more than 94% of the population of Cape Verde is Christian, with almost 85% being Roman Catholics. To return to the fishing, Tourists can embark on deep-sea fishing excursions to explore the rich water surrounding Cape Verde. These trips often take participants far offshore in pursuit of large game fish such as tuna, marlin and the rod. So where are they taking them now? Uh, they are going on a catamaran tour. Look. The there. Yeah. Oh, the big one there. But you, you can still see um, what is called whales now, or is not the season now? It's not the season. Around uh, February is the, the season starts around February. Ah, okay. The majority of fishing activities in Cape Verde are artisanal, involving small-scale traditional fishing methods. Local fishermen use small boats, traditional fishing gear and hand-operated tools. Cape Verde's waters are rich in variety of fish species including tuna, sniper, lobster and octopus. The diversity of marine life contributes to a dynamic and valuable fish sector. From all the fishes, tuna is one of the most loved and culturally significant fish among Cape Verdeans. Tuna holds a special place in Cape Verdean cuisine and culture and it's a staple in many traditional dishes. One of the popular tuna dishes in Cape Verde is cachupa, which is the national dish. As you can see here, this young gentleman is skinning off a shark because yes, shark fishing has been a practice in Cape Verde, used in some traditional cuisines and for various cultural practices. Not all the Cape Verdeans are really keen in trying and eat shark meat, so it's not something that everyone is doing it. After we learned about the fishing in Cape Verde, we went and we, we had a very entertaining moment where we have danced and we have tried coffee and we have tried the local drink rock. It was a really fun moment. Okay. Some man doesn't know how to dance. Because they need to move their hips, so I... Yeah, you have to move here. And we men don't move. There. <laughs> yeah. We don't want to do it. But I'm going to have so an good. idea. I will uh, show you. And of course, then you will dance. You need? Yeah. Okay. Yes, you're going to do it later.
good moves. <laughs> All of you. Okay, let's me? see you do that also. Okay. That? Yeah, you need yeah. to film me then. Okay. Yeah, keep right. it like this. Strong, strong, strong. Ah, okay. Okay, so I need to put this one in. How did you say? Like this? <laughs> Speak French as well. French as well. Ah, oui, moi je parle français, hein. Yeah, I can speak French. And this is mama. Your mom. Your mama. Another mama. Okay, nice to meet you. Another mama. Hello, mama. Yeah. Bonjour, mama. Bonjour, mama. Enchanté, mama. Comment ça va? Oui, ça va bien. I have a lot of mamas here. Of course, it's good to have a lot of mamas. They take care of you. And uh, I am mama. My prayer is big enough to hold a lot of mamas. Exactly. Yeah. But this one is really nice. Yeah, the coconut one. Hmm. What are you drinking then? Everything. <laughs> the local drink. With, uh, what's, what is it called? Crow? Punch. Punch. Yeah. And the other one, the stronger one? Croco. 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 Yeah. Nice. <clears throat> After another two, I will be like. <laughs> we will not. Anyway, we, we are have stuff in, to do, no? Uh, anyway, we are on, on a private tour, so you can sleep, you can dance, you can get drunk and whatever. No, no drunk, no. Because <laughs> we will not enjoy the. Yeah. Okay. Maybe someone want to test coffee, no? Yes. Yes. It, it's good after the yeah. <laughs> drinks. You <laughs> welcome. Yeah, 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 they put it in the key, that's fine. Yeah. Save the plan. No, no. Okay, cafe. We save the plan. Can we take a coffee? Yeah, yeah, we'll take a coffee. It's for free, no? Yeah, it's for free. The coffee, the coffee lady, of the folk. Boss lady? Why is everyone, everyone is saying I'm the boss lady? Ladies everywhere. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this Are you married? It's the same rules. <laughs> Are you married? I'm not. You're but too young. I will get married soon. Yeah? Yeah. Do you have like a lover or you're looking for <laughs> <laughs> I have okay. a, my girlfriend is, uh, I have a, my, my girlfriend is from uh, Ecuador Guinea. Oh. So she's coming to me. Oh. 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 <laughs> Do you guys want to climb over there? Yeah, we don't let's have, try. We don't have uh, proper shoes. Sure, we do. You are from Romania. You don't need uh, proper yeah. shoes. Of course. <laughs> we need to cut the flower. <laughs> I'm kidding. But it will be nice to try. Yeah, uh, yeah it's going to be nice. Nice, nice, baby. Yeah. One day I will plan. Yes. Better and I will uh, record yes. and I will send yes. you the video, okay? Yes. yes. When I get to the top, I will put a Cape Verdean flag over there and the Romanian flag yes. as well. Yes. yes. Yeah. It's a deal. Yeah. It's a deal. deal. I will do deal. that. You promise. Yeah, that's a promise. I will do that. Okay. Yeah, yeah. After dancing and the drinking session, we have arrived to Buracona. This is our last stop for this episode. Here we will have a glance at the blue eye and we are going to have a beautiful panoramic view towards the Atlantic Ocean. Buracona is well known for the rock fishing as well.
The blue eye, at first glance, is just a hole with water inside like many others, except that in this case, at a certain time of the day only, when the sun reaches a certain angle, usually around 11 o'clock, and hits the water, it creates an effect which looks like a blue eye, with fantastic hues. Over the internet, you will not find too many details about this blue eye, because I believe it's like a local attraction, but it's so worth to come and see it with your own eyes, as the effect is just amazing. You do it, but us, we can do it. No, no, there is not allowed. Why? <laughs> I think because it's a bit dangerous, no? Yeah, yes, yes, because uh, jump, it's easy, probably it's coming out. Ah. So how it came out from here? You climb, or? Ah. You have a rope. Oh, okay. There is a rope over there. Okay, now makes sense. But it's not easy. Now makes sense. Jump, it's easy. Oh, yeah. <laughs> It's deep enough, and there is uh, 10 meters deep water, wow. so it's good. Okay. But the blue, the color is so beautiful. And yeah. the blue eye is just a reflex of the sun and the shape of the soul here in the water. In a, in a bottom, there is a white stones and corals. There is a natural pool where you can swim if you wish and you can see on the right hand side you have the lifeguard that he's doing his stretching so you're all safe. This day tour has cost us 110 euros altogether and please keep in mind that this episode shows you just half of the day so stay with us for the rest of the tour because we had a full day of great experiences we will provide you the link in the comments so yes where are we now we are in a blue eye area <laughs> Uh, no, cut. Do it again. No, we are in the blue eye area, but we don't remember the name of the area. Burakada. No, no. Yes. Por qué morimos? No vamos morir, ni. As you can notice, people here are very friendly and they are very funny as well. Cape Verde, with its picturesque coastline and favorable wind condition, is an excellent destination for various water sports. The islands attract water sport enthusiasts seeking activities ranging from windsurfing to diving. Sal Island, in particular, is famous for its windy condition and has hosted international windsurfing competitions. This is the end of our first part, so if you like it, please subscribe to our channel and see you in the next one. Take care! Yeah, it's good, it's not windy.